Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, this book is called Zoo in the Sky. It's by National Geographic. Um, it's by Jacqueline Mitton and uh, pictures by Christina Balit. And it's a book of animal constellations. So it's funny because the way the light shines on it, there are certain things that you can't see. So for instance, in each one of these dark spots, there's a star and silver. You can see it over here. And if I were to do this, like zoo in the sky it would disappear. So let's get started. So this book comes with some additional information. Talks about the northern sky and the southern sky. And what's interesting is that it's almost like a dot to dot game. Ooh, it looks like I have monster fingers. Why isn't this thing coming on? Okay, monster fingers. So if you see here, this is the northern sky. And if you were to look at this, um, the ones that are focused on this book would be the great bear, the little bear, swan, the fox, the lion, the bull, the twins, and the dragon. And like I said, each one of these is connected by dots, sort of like a dot to dot game. How many dots does it take to make some of these constellations? And then here we have the southern sky. Um, and it says, um, there, you can't see it. Well, yeah, you can. There are some paler areas in the picture, and those represent the Milky Way. And then the ones that are in here are the scorpion, the wolf, the great dog, the hare, the goldfish, the flying fish, the whale, the peacock, the bird of paradise, the toucan, and the crane. So let's get started. It's really a beautiful book. I really like the artwork. So here is the first page. When the sun sets, darkness falls. The stars appear one by one. Then the sky turns into a picture puzzle. What is hiding in the patterns of stars? Some people say they only see squares and squiggles, lines and loops. But imagine hard and the sky comes to life. The star patterns make a wing here, a tail there, a twinkling eye, even a scorpion stinger. Sky watchers long, long ago imagined a whole zoo of animals. They shine there still when you are under the magic spell of the nighttime sky. So this is the great bear. Just because of the way the camera's working, I'm gonna focus on the picture. So this is a great bear. The great bear quietly pats her way around the north pole of the sky. Every day she makes the trip. Two bright stars across her back point straight to Polaris, the north star. Hanging off Polaris by his tail, the little bear swings around behind her. You won't see bears quite the same anywhere else. Real life bears don't have long tails. So, just look at the picture and see how many stars make up the great bear and how many stars make up the little bear. Countless stars light the Milky Way. I'm sorry. Countless stars light the Milky Way along this silvery path. With wings outstretched flies the swan on July and August nights. He soars from east to west across the sky. It takes him from dusk till dawn. 
His eye gleams with a twin star, yellow and blue, called Albiero. He needs a good eye to keep a sharp lookout. A cunning fox runs beneath him looking for his dinner. So if you look here and you see the swan, how many stars do you see that makes up the um, swan? And how many stars do you see that makes up the fox? The scorpion. The scorpion has a nasty sting on his tail. Beware as he scuttles across the Milky Way. His tail is curved around and he's waving his fearsome claws. Antares, a blood red star, glows at its heart. But the wolf nearby is not afraid. After all, he's not such a friendly creature himself. So if you were to look here at the scorpion all the way through, how many stars do you see? And then if you look at the wolf below, how many stars do you see in the wolf? Leo the lion is king of the beast and lord of the sky. In February and March, he looks down from a throne high up in the heaven. Stars in his mane shine like jewels in a crown. His brightest star lies close to his heart. That star's name is Regulus, which means the little king. So if you were to look at this lion, just inside the lion, how many stars do you see? Charging through the zodiac, here comes the bull, head down, thorns thrust forward. Taurus is ready to toss the twins. They are safe, always on the other side of the Milky Way. The bull glowers with a brilliant red eye, the sty of Aldebaran. A whole cluster of stars is scattered around his nose. The Pleiades huddle behind his shoulder. These starry sisters are not afraid. They know he never looks back. So if you were to see the sisters and to look at the stars that are inside of them, how many stars do you can you can can you count? And then if you were to look at the bull or Taurus, how many stars do you see inside of him? The great dog is chasing the hare, but he knows he can never catch it. This dog is a splendid, star-studded creature. His brightest star, Sirius, outshines all the others in the night sky. Sirius means scorching one, a good name for a white hot star, but spot it low in the sky, and Sirius flashes all the colors of the rainbow like a diamond glinting in the sunlight. So if you were to look at right here at the dog, how many stars do you see that are inside the dog? And then below it, you see the hair. How many stars do you see in the hair? Deep. In the southern sky, the glittering goldfish swims alongside where the good ship Argo sells an ocean of stars. The flying fish gives chase and fun, soaring out of the waves. Now take care, he warns. We must not get caught. But the fish are safe in their starry sea. They'll never be anyone's dinner. So if you look here... We see a fish. How many stars do you see in that fish? And if you were to look at this fish, how many stars do you see in that fish? The whale. 
The whale is the greatest of all living creatures. He's one of the largest in the sky, too. A monstrous size. He is sometimes called the sea monster. On the whale's back, you'll find Mira, the marvelous star. See how red it glows by his fin? Mira keeps dimming till it disappears. Then, little by little, it brightens once more. About a year later, it's back, bright as ever, only to fade all over again. So if you were to look at the well, how many stars do you see that are in the well? A zoo. A zoo without birds would never do. In the sky, there's a whole flock parading by the South Pole. Tells on display, the proud peacock and the bird of paradise show off to anyone who watches. The toucan's glory is his beak, studded with an orange star. The crane peers at them all, stretching his long neck. Red and blue stars shine on his back. So look at these birds. How many stars can you see all together? So there are one, two, three, four birds. How many stars does each bird have? And how many stars do this all, the four birds have all together? The long, scaly body of the crimson-eyed dragon coils around the north pole of the heavens. Take care. He might breathe fire. You won't find a dragon like him in an ordinary zoo. But the starry sky is magic. On one fine, sparkly night, who knows? You just might fall under its spell. How many stars do you see within the dragon? And that's it. So once again, we have the stars that make up these shapes. So this is supposed to be a lion. People have, uh, use your imagination. Do you see it? Or the dragon. Look at how that looks. And maybe you could make your own dot to dot for any of these. Yes, they're made up of stars, but that doesn't mean that that's the only way that you can put these animals together. So that was Zoo in the Sky, and I will stop recording. So you have a great day. I hope you like the story, and there will be another one.